Former Army Chief David Morrison has been named Australian of the Year, credited with leading a cultural shift towards diversity in the military. Estelle Lewis, it follows a public message to misbehaving troops. Tim, former Chief of Army David Morrison has just been awarded with the honour at a ceremony in Canberra. He was recognised for his commitment to gender equality following a string of Defence Force 6 scandals. In his acceptance speech, he said he wants to work towards closing the gender pay gap and he also said he plans to campaign for the Republican movement. So seldom in my life have I been almost at a loss for words, but this is one of them. I will lend my voice to the Republican movement in this country. It is time, I think, to at least revisit the question so that we can stand both free and fully independent. And a sell, of course, is not just about the honours on Australia Day. Perth, as usual, will be celebrating on the foreshore. Yes, Tim, 16 pyrotechnic crews are preparing to launch the nation's biggest Australia Day fireworks display. The skyworks will be visible right across uh, the Swan River thanks to a new circular barge setup. The word Perth will be lit up across the sky and people who are watching from a distance will be able to see the laser light show from more than a kilometre away. Now, if you're planning to celebrate with a drink along the foreshore tomorrow night, you'll need to stick to two designated drinking zones. The first one will be at Kings Park on the north side of uh, Fraser's restaurant, the second at Langley Park. Uh, there'll be limited alcohol allowed in those two areas between 6.30 and 8.45 p.m. There'll be no alcohol allowed at all on the South Perth foreshore. If you're driving, uh, Kings Park roads will shut from 6 a.m. tomorrow. Streets around the South Perth foreshore will close from 10 a.m. Roads around Langley Park and Elizabeth Quay will shut at midday. Streets in the CBD will close at 7 p.m. and at 8.30, Wellington Street and the Horseshoe Bridge will also close. Now, there's uh, expected to be 300,000 people flocking to the foreshore tomorrow night. The Sky Show starts at 8 o'clock. Tim and Emmy. Oh, still, thank you.